Do you want to have your own hens and your own chickens at home? So do I, and I do. So today's question and answer is, can you have chickens in residential areas in South Africa? It's an insightful video based on data and facts. So if you ever have the thought of keeping chickens, or you've actually just watched the latest carte blanche episode on the state of New Laid, then you might be thinking, I think I want to give my own chickens a go so I can get my own eggs. They're awesome pets, they have huge personalities. So besides the eggs that you're gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of fun. Kids love them. I love spending time with them here, feeding them some spinach every now and then. So let's look into some of the things that you need to know before you can keep your own chickens. Okay, so you wanna keep your own chickens. What do you need to know? First of all, you are allowed to keep chickens in residential areas in South Africa. The problem comes in is when people keep roosters. You cannot keep roosters in residential areas if you want chickens at home. The only place where you seem to be allowed to have them and only by permit is the Western Cape. So what's important to realize is depending on where you are based in the country, you have different bylaws. The Western Cape is very different in terms of bylaws and what you're allowed to the city of Johannesburg which is completely different to KwaZulu-Natal. I'm going to give you some of the information now so that you, you have it on hand. But in essence, before you get any hens, make sure you know what your local bylaws are, just so that you don't break any laws, you don't go over certain limits. But in summary, yes, you can keep chickens in a residential area. However, there are certain things that you need to follow and be aware of before you make the decision to get them. So first up is city of Johannesburg. They have a limit of no more than 10 chickens. They also have to have a sound poultry house, very much like the one behind me. And the walls have to be a minimum of 2.4 meters high. So they have a pretty strict set of criteria that you have to follow. And specifically in Johannesburg as well, your chickens may not be a nuisance to neighbors and you need to make sure that you have sufficient space from the boundary wall so that you don't cause any issues with neighbors. That being said, I've got five hens and to be perfectly honest with you, the neighbor's dachshunds are louder than the chickens. You hardly hear them. The only time you really hear them is once they've laid an egg. They're just saying, hey world, I've laid an egg, celebrating it, about three minutes and then they're done. Then they keep quiet, a little bit of cackling like you probably hearing on the microphone but it's so soft you can hardly hear it and then we have the western cape so the western cape is actually the strictest of the provinces you are only allowed five hens no roosters and if you want a rooster or you want more than five hens you actually have to apply for a permit um, so five is the max your your hen house needs to be a minimum of 1.5 meters away from any boundary wall. So just make sure you have that in mind when you are putting your things up. But there pretty much limit is five, no more. And the height of the house may not exceed three and a half meters. If you ask me, three and a half meters, I mean, that's a luxurious double story resort for these chickens, which if you limit it to five, you know, really, I'd be surprised if you can even reach that kind of height. And then the last one is KwaZulu-Natal. <clears throat> KwaZulu-Natal doesn't have a fixed limit on the amount of hens you can keep. However, they do have some other restrictions that you need to be aware of. So some of the other restrictions you need to be aware of in KwaZulu-Natal includes and this is where it's quite important that you know based on your province and your bylaws what the restrictions are western cape was for instance much stricter on the amount of hens kwazulu natal on the opposite has no restriction on the number of hens you can have however your hen house or your hens may not be within seven and a half meters of any residential opening windows or doors which is for, for most people quite a bit harder to comply with than just five as long as you stay a meter and a half away from a boundary wall as with the western cap 
So in KwaZulu Natal, it's seven and a half meters from an opening, two meters from a boundary wall, but there aren't any restrictions in terms of the number of hens that you can keep. So I hope this has given you some insight into how important it is to check your bylaws. Just a quick Google search will give you the answers. But I hope this has given you a quick overview just in terms of the basic restrictions and how many hens you can keep. Just please make sure when you get your own chickens that you know that you have hens and you don't have a rooster. Because I'm telling you, if you have a rooster, you'll have the whole neighborhood on your case and you're not going to be enjoying your eggs because if people get hold of them, they'll probably throw them at you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop me any comments if you've got any questions about keeping chickens at home or urban chickens. The eggs are amazing. I have five eggs a day that the chickens give me. Um, for me, five is more than enough. And yeah, share this with your communities, get the word out there. Based on what was recently shared by Carte Blanche, the state that the chickens live in, the store-bought eggs, it's absolutely disgusting. Get your own eggs, get your chickens. They don't need a lot of space. They don't make a noise. They give you fertilizer, they process kitchen waste, and they give you highly nutritious eggs. It's really a no-brainer. So you need to do it.